Welcome to week eight edition of the Revolution Fantasy Football Edition of the Ruben uh, Yanez Fantasy Football League. And I did start yeah, that as the Ruben Yanez Fantasy Football League. Enunciation is key. All right, everyone. It's, uh, it's been a crazy week. It's, uh, it's election week. Hope you voted. And uh, that's the reason we're, uh, we're doing this late. And it's going to be a late one. It's going to be a short one, but it's going to be a good one. Keep your eyes locked. It's only going to be a few minutes because we're going to start off with the scores. Right back to the winning ways. The Pippers have taken out the uh, Cracker Killers. It is unfortunate that a friend must take out a friend. But in fantasy football, there are none. Friends don't exist. What you do to friends, you murder them. You murder them 143 to 108. Pippers win. To say that the stacking trolls had an easy win is an understatement. Because they had an easy win. 158 to 75. I mean, Troy Lives Matters didn't even show up. Showed up last week. Showed up last week. This week they're like, yeah, I made an appearance. That's enough for me. That's <laughs> enough. That's enough. That's enough. No, that's good. Yeah, 158, stacking trolls, improving to six and two, as along with uh, the Bippers and the Damon and the Shabooms. Wow. That is right. And in the hunt, but still a loser, the Alfredo Boyles lose to the Oakland Oysters 89 to 102. And it really looks like the Boyles are going to take this one. And then a broken foot and other injuries decided that uh, 89 was going to be the cap. Oysters That's win. There's, they just, they had more points. I, I, I there's not. Football gods be damned. Eighty nine was not the cap for week seven. No. For the Alfredo Poyos. Ninety seven, however, was the cap for the Huff and Puffs, as Dayman just slaughtered them, one fifty two to ninety seven. I mean, they didn't stand a chance. No, no. None whatsoever. Knocks her down a peg or two. She deserves it. That's right. Hey, how, how does it feel to be right back on Earth with right. everybody else? That's right. You're up here? Now you're down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Equality, baby. Right here with everybody else. That's right. That's right. Would this be a welcome back or an introduction? Because the former Oakland Manifesto is now the Oakland Fire. And the fire did not start with heat. It was off the cold. But what do you expect? You ran into the Shabooms, and you ran into some guy we'll talk about a little bit, Dalvin Cook. Right. Shaboom is 121. Fire, 80. I still say, I still say the fire is in. I, I got a feeling. They're they they got a chance. They got a chance. Drew Brees, see me. That they do. Now into well, I guess you can say the toilet bowl game of the week, but that's kind of disrespectful to two former champs. The Reservoir Dogs and the Flying Graysons, who gave it their best valiant effort. But the Flying Graysons gave it all. 75 to 57. Reversed. Reversed. Oh, yeah. They're reversed. Hey, someone's got to win every week. Right. Someone's got to win. Someone's got to win. And it was the right. Flying Graysons, baby. They did not die this, this week. That's true. They're they're so in this too. It's like uh, yeah. it's like the uh, the NFC East over there. <laughs> <laughs> Still in this. Still, Still in this. Still in it with a losing record. 
All right, and we did say it was going to be short, so short that we're going to have honey buns and no crumb buns. Real short and sweet. Just like, I got to be honest, I think this month, this month, this week, once again, it was a no-brainer with the top two, and uh, it was more of who was going to pick who. So let me go first because uh, I don't know. I think I got a, I think I got a little crush on this dude. Wide receiver DJ, DK. Metcalf, Seattle Seahawks. It's one of those things. He's uh he's the enemy, but he's the, uh, but man, he looks good out there on the field. Twelve right. receptions, one hundred and sixty-one yards, two touchdowns, forty-two fantasy points. Man, this guy's a stud. Who you got, Tone? My honey bun is a rider as a running back from the uh, Minnesota Vikings, Dalvin Cook. With 30 touches, 200 all-purpose yards, over 200 all-purpose yards, and four touchdowns, giving them 50 points, helping the Shabooms improve the 6-2. and two. Quite possibly, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Shabooms are a little bit on a hot streak. Oh, say? yeah. Yeah, they lost They lost a couple, but they that was early. That was early on. I think it was uh, two and two and six in a row. Something it was. It's something crazy. Like I'll double check, but it was. It was you know you 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 thought you thought he was mortal right there in the beginning of the season, and then he just you know Bill Belichick yeah in like was it two thousand whatever when uh when Brady got hurt and he thought yeah. was you know what no. Uh, the year the year the year that he went uh the year that the Patriots went zero and two. They lost to the uh, they lost to the Colts and lost to the Bears to start off the season. They were zero and two, and then they decided by finishing the the year like it was either fourteen and two or thirteen and three, and they won the Super Bowl. And it was like they're like one of like the only or the few teams that, that started zero and two and won the Super Bowl. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. But they cheated, so whatever. Strips. Eh. Anyway. There are some crumbums out there, but we're not going to talk about them. Instead, moving out to Thursday night, or the uh, it's it's going to be a sacrifice. We're just it's there. I hate to use this term, but it's they're they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get killed. It's a slaughtering. It's what's going to happen out there. We're gonna go over the we're gonna go over some of the some of the stuff that I know because we're not even gonna we're not even gonna worry about the uh, what the over under is or what it or any of that because I'll tell you what the numbers have been changing because the situation was fluid. But check this: broken foot, sprained ankle. Kendrick Bourne, that dude got the Rona. You know who was near him? Brandon Ayuk. You know who else they're losing? They lost all kind. They have, they have, they have, they have no offensive line. I'll tell you what. They have the only offensive line guys that are healthy are the two guys that they've been the unhappiest with. Mm-hmm. That is, was it Lincoln Tomlinson and some other guy who I'm trying to forget? McClinchy. No, he's kind of good, but he's been sucking. He's been terrible, and everyone else is not even there. So I'll tell you what. It started. I think it started like at two and a half. That uh, that the that Green Bay was favored. By the way, it's Green Bay at San Francisco. And then there was some injuries. And then it was like three. Then there was the whole. Everyone's got COVID now. So then like it went up to like seven. <laughs> so like by tomorrow it's gonna be eleven, bro. That's it's real. gonna be eleven points. So we're gonna go with that. We're just going to go with the Packers are favored by 11 on the road against San Francisco. And the over-under, we're just going to BS that too. Because check this. My guess is it's going to be 45. And it's going to be, and it's going to be, and it's going to be mostly Green Bay. We're just going to get to the predictions now, Anthony, because it is that dire. Because Nick Mullins. They're playing, they're, they're playing during the day, so there will be no Nick at Night special. 
This is what I predict. I predict this is going to go one of two ways, Anthony. Either the Packers are going to win this game 41 to 3, or they're going to win 28 to nothing. Because either they're going to score eight times really, really quickly, or they're going to have four really, 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 really long, really long thing. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Also, how do you feel about revenge, Anthony? Because this is a revenge game for Green Bay. Yeah. Hey, they lost two times last year. They got killed in the first game by like 30. And then they got destroyed in the NFC Championship game. They're going to pile it on. They're going to pile on. They're going to pile on. And that's all I can say. Green Bay is going to pile on. They're going to pile it on. Why? Because it's poetic justice. It has to happen. It has to happen. It has Why? to happen. Because Raheem Mostert scored, scored four times on these dudes in the championship game. So what does that mean? That means that Aaron Rodgers has to at least throw four touchdowns on these dudes. Aaron, Aaron Jones is hurt, right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, because I think uh, the other – they have another running back that's like Adams or something. Jamal? Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams. No, Devontae Adams. Jamal Williams. He's got the Rona too. So it's – or some kind of weird protocol. I don't know. But it's not looking good. Packers are going to win this. They're, if they had enough time, they would, they're going to win this 10,000 to 3. <laughs> but because there's only 60 minutes, there's only 60 minutes. I 41 3 is my thing. And I've been talking for a long time, Anthony. How do you feel about this game? Because I know. Well, it's going to be a shutout, man. I already feel it. I think Devontae Adams is going to score all the points. And uh, I think, personally, just to, you know, kind of disrespect the Niners, just throw out the rookie, have him start. Do it. Do it. Right? Have Aaron Rodgers take the night off. Be like, hey, sit down. Do it. Do it. Got enough Got enough confidence in the rookie. Because you know what? They are so low at wide receiver. I don't even know they got enough guys in the, for the practice squad. I, you know what? Side prediction? Was it Jason Red is going to play some wide receiver in this game? I don't know why they don't even the, in this game. He's going to play both sides of the ball. He's gonna be. He, he might have to. He might have to. The Niners are all messed up with injuries, so yeah, the season's a wash. Yeah. Well, anyway, hope you guys voted. Hope you yeah. guys voted. Yeah. Do your uh, do your civic duty. That's right. Get out there and vote. That's right. Get it. You're still counting. So hopefully you're in there somewhere. I'm in there. I dropped mine off Saturday afternoon, Union City City Hall. Damn. Right there. Boom. Election day. It's one of the ballots that's that's upsetting everyone. So, you know. Boom. Boom, baby. All right, Joe. We'll see you next week. All right, Zeus. Week eight, baby. Halfway there.